Some new video published by the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory today shows a geologist braving the heat of the Kilauea lava lake to retrieve a sample for scientific analysis. The eruption continues at the summit caldera, although the activity is decreasing as time goes on. Things were far more intense when lava first broke through the surface on June 7th. Just a few hours after the eruption began, this video was recorded, showing a geologist scouting the perimeter of the crater floor for a location to best sample the lava that is being produced by the new vents that opened earlier that morning. Initial lava flows inundated the crater floor, and the observatory notes that although the flows on the perimeter were solid by the time geologists arrived, they were still hot to touch. Using a rock hammer to gather the material, the sample is cooled in a bucket before being airlifted away. Scientists hope an analysis of the samples will provide insights into the geochemical makeup of the lava being erupted. The observatory notes that access to this hazardous area is by permission from and in coordination with Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Geologists say the activity has diminished and is now concentrated in the southwestern and central portions of the crater. All previously active lava features in the northern and eastern portions of the crater now appear to be stagnant. They also report summit tilt switch from ongoing deflation to mild inflation as of early Monday afternoon. The eruption remains confined to the summit caldera and the volcano alert level remains at watch.